that's it. That's the one I wanted. Manny has got some weight. And I'm gonna class that as a pretty big Tassie squid. Scamander River, one of my favourite places to fish in Tasmania. This was one of those spots where we just checked on Google Maps, came here and it's been amazing ever since. Today I'm going to take you out and show you one of my favourite forms of fishing and that is spinning the snags for brim. It's just so much fun. Let's do it. So it's all light, light tackle stuff. We're using four pound braid. I'm gonna use some six pound fluorocarbon leader. Fluorocarbon's great because it sinks so you can fish light and the fish can't see it either. So for all my lighter tackle stuff, I just use a 10, 10 turn Albright knot. I find that's plenty strong enough for the brim. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to rig one rod with a soft plastic, my lighter rod, um, and that'll be for fishing all the snags. And the other rod, the heavier one, I'm going to rig with a blade and then I can fish the deeper edges. So to tie on my plastic, I'm just using a four or five turn uni knot. I just find that that is a very neat easy strong knot to do. So this is one of the coolest contraptions. It's got all my Z-Man plastics, all neatly organized, ready to go. So we find out which one we want, which is bloodworm for the Scamander. So we've got bloodworm, and you can just pull out a plastic and rig it up. So to rig them up, They've got a top and the bottom, so you want the curl tail on the top. Measure your length, and then just thread it through as straight as you can. The straighter it is, the better it'll swim. And if it's not right, you just redo it. That's pretty straight. That'd be fine. All right, the other thing I might do, just put a little bit of scent on the bloodworm plastic. These Procure scents are really, really good. It just gives you that little bit of added something to your plastic. And just dab a little bit each side. It lasts for quite a few casts, so you only need to do it every now and again. But the brim just love it. Just moving along all these snags, the brim really like the lure sinking on a slack line. So all I'm doing is punching a cast as hard as I can into the timber, letting it sink, watching the line for bites or trying to feel the bite. As soon as that happens, try and rip them out. Got him. <laughs> it's only a little one, but it's a good one to start. <laughs> and that's why brim fishing is so much fun, flicking up into the snags like that. There's so much bigger ones out there, but that was really cool. So, off you go, dude. 
You're gonna find your bigger brother. Bigger, bigger, bigger brother. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got him that time. Came back for the second one. Uh, slightly bigger than the last one. We're getting bigger. I might need the net for this one. And you can see he just punched right into that snag. There he is. Beautiful Scamander brim. He has just walloped that plastic. Gotta pop it out of him there. Oh, he's eating it well. There it is. Beautiful fish. They're getting bigger. They're such a pretty fish. Bronze, purple, beautiful. All right, job's on. So as important as your rod is the electric motor. I've always said that I'd rather an electric motor than a petrol motor because this is for fishing and that is for driving away from the fish. The fish are always gonna be on the big snags, you know that, but I love the little just checking cast. It only takes one, you know, one or two seconds as you're cruising past, just to have a cast and you never know when a bang is gonna turn up. Bad cast, what the hell was that? The old backhand hook into the tree. That's it, that's the one I wanted. Oh, it's a big one, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, I've got my drag set slightly light because I don't just want to go tearing it out of their mouth, but that is a nice fish. That's what we come to the Scamander for. Tassie's just such an underrated brim fishery. Everyone comes here for the trout, but there's so much other cool stuff to do and brim's one of them. Check out that fish, that's a beauty. Awesome, getting the net under him. That's the one that I was searching for. There's nothing like that brim bite right in hard in the timber. And that is a cracking Tassie brim. That is awesome, stoked with that one. Like I said, everyone comes to Tassie for the trout fishing, but there's so much good brim fishing to be had. Big blue lips, such a snag bandit. So much fun just chucking lures right in that timber. It's one of my favorite things to do when I come here to Tassie. I come for the trout, but I stay for the brim. That is mean, such a good fish. All right, dude. Off you go back into the snag. Right in the block hole. That's going. That was a long way out. Just sitting there drifting down. And that's just such a telltale brim thing to do. They don't want it moved, they just want it sinking. And you have to be in touch, but you have to let it sink. He's not a bad fish. Beautiful Scamander brim. That's awesome. Nice. All right, dude, I'll pop that out of you. If you will let me, please. Hey, hey, hey. When they want it, they want it. All right, off you go, buddy. Next one. Oh, I can see a big one down there. I bet you he can see me too. Oh, 
Ah, oh. pants. And for those that don't know what pants means, is when your plastic gets ripped off the hook. In there, I knew there was going to be one in there. That's him. That's the one I wanted. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, come on. Nice fish. Came up to the rock wall. I knew there was going to be one up on the rock wall. Something about brim and rocks, they just go together. And if you put a bit of timber in there as well, you got the perfect recipe for a brim hole. Nice fish. Awesome. If you ever come to the Scamander or anywhere in Tassie, brim fishing, bloodworm's such a good colour. Something about the local food supply. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Matching in with the bloodworm plastics. You see he's pinned right in the gob there. Specky, medium sized Tassie brim. So much fun pulling him out of the snags. We'll get this one back. I reckon there's going to be another one in there. Just like that. See you, dude. See if we can't make it two from two. The wind's just dropped off for a second. Give me a good cast. I'm amazed at some of these rock walls on the Scamander, how undercut they are. And you think you're casting up into the shallows, but actually there's a lot of water for the fish to sit. You'd be so amazed how many fish come out of those little groins in the rocks sometimes. Perfect bit of cover for them. one right underneath the log. Oh, bad cast. It's always better. Pull it out, recast, and just do another bad cast into the tree. Wow, that was bad. Well, I stuffed that one up. Idiot. Yep, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Get out of there. That was so awesome. I just saw him cruising, oh, cruising across the surface down this bank. <laughs> and I chucked it out and it looked like it spooked him. But then he must have just whacked her. That is awesome. Oh, persistence pays off, you know. I've been trying, it's been a slow last hour. But I knew, I knew if I just kept doing the right things in the right places, I'd get an opportunity and there it is. Big Tassie brim. That was just so good to get it sight casting. Just the best. Check that fish out, that is a whopper. 
<laughs> yeah. Right, in the net. Get in the net. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that is wicked. What a fish. Oh. Check this fish out. I've been, been getting lots of short little takes and they hadn't been eating it quite properly, but I've got my big blue nose bruiser. It's been an epic day on the Scamander. We actually stopped by the, the oyster place at St. Helens on the way through. I've got some lovely oysters, grabbing a bottle of wine, I'm gonna go share it with my wife on the beach. And I think that's just a perfect way to top it off. Another beautiful day on the east coast of Tasmania. That is just wicked. Really, really happy with that fish.